Is that awful? Yes. Alex is not your typical nine-year-old. He's very loving. He's very caring. He's concerned about others. His friends are everything to him, and his family is more. Don't ever call me a grown-up again. Mine don't pass either. You know, this whole time that he's been sick, he's never once complained. He's never once said, why me? Good job. Him and I have talked a lot about people out there that have it a lot worse than he does. Alex has Crohn's disease, and basically what it does is it infects his digestive tract. It just destroys your body. It's emotional. Many sleepless nights, especially when he's not doing particularly well. There's so much that constantly sits in your head about the what ifs. When you have a child that has a disease, those what ifs are a reality. I give him a shot once a week of methotrexate, and he just takes it all in stride. He wants to hold his hand. Christian, come here. Dr. C. Sarega. He had mentioned to us that he's part of a research team trying to find a cure for Crohn's, which got my wife digging into more of what Wild Cornell does. And you know, the more we read, the more we learn, the more impressed we become. Hi. Hi. Are you Alex? So nice to meet you. Thank you for doing our study. You're welcome. Crohn's patients are known to have a slower growth rate. Right now, he's a little smaller than most of his friends. Okay. Now, his bone age was seven. Dr. Gupta so is looking into why growth problems are more common in boys with Crohn's than with girls who have the same disease. Understanding why could lead to better treatment for boys and girls with Crohn's. When Dr. Gupta's study came about, Dr. C told us this had Alex written all over it. Does that make sense? Yeah. I hope and pray for those people that are doing the research that they have a great day at work. I really do. Yes. They've had a calling to go and try to fix one thing at a time. I would love to read my email one day from Wild Cornell and say, we've hit the jackpot. <laughs> and not just for my son, but for every child, every person that has Crohn's or IBD or colitis or anything that affects them in that way. When I have somebody like Dr. Gumta who is willing to take the time, not just to get to know my son, but to work with him to figure out what is the bone issue with Crohn's patients. Um, Do you have any questions about what you just said, Alex? Can I know you're listening? Okay. It gives me high hopes because they're not just sitting back saying, let's see what happens. They're taking that bold initiative and stepping forward. So we just gotta keep track of what's going on with your bones. Right. It's difficult to not know what tomorrow brings for your son. And my hope is that he can just grow old. He can live his life and that he'll just grow old. As a family, we take today. Whatever today brings us is what we deal with and we worry about tomorrow when it gets here.